Right, things have gone serious. A laptop has been opened. Has been opened. Adele has joined us. Adele. <laughs> Adele. If I was quicker, there'd be a pun related to a song title. But alas, welcome to the other side of being stupid. No? Yeah? Okay. 77% of the way through. And uh, we're now programming gears. Uh, we're going to leave the chain a bit too long because of the size of the chain ring here. But, um, just seeing how many updates we need, if any. And, uh, yeah, ho oh, maybe home stretch. Maybe we shouldn't keep saying home stretch. <laughs> home stretch. It knows exactly how long it takes to update. Wouldn't get out of the shroud. <laughs> right, moment of truth. Another moment of truth. It's mm. promising. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Charge? No. Is that the issue? I think so. Yeah, it's no light. I think the batteries on these bikes are too good. I reckon these batteries should be like an iPhone, where you charge them overnight. Because then, then you're done. Never, yeah, <laughs> you'll never. No, but you, you get a ride out of it. Yeah, then you have to charge it again. Yeah, but you'll never. Because like, yeah, they last forget. like a month, you'll go yeah. out riding and be like, today's the day. <laughs> Some real tension in the garage right now. Because we're assuming that we need some charge. I can see Brown sweating and I'm, it's, it's five degrees here. I mean, we should assemble it all before putting it on the bike to check that it all works. But oh yeah, the you know, desk, desktop. Desktop. Yeah, desktop when we find out we've got a cable <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> got to take that junction. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now I've checked it on the laptop, it all, it's all there. It sees everything, so it's all plugged in. The one thing missing is electric. Just want to hear that little zzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Live. <laughs> yeah, each one shows it with the bridge on it. Oh, well, we don't use any of that. We go. Sh ours, ours will go straight up from the base. Oh, so you, got, you brought your own chips. Oh, okay, you got. Yes, yeah, so we got. Yeah, base plates. They either have it going in, or they have the stanchions out. We'll go in because it's better. And then our risers will go on top of that. They all interlock together. So it's super stiff, and you can go up to 100 mil of stack of the risers. Then our shims go on top of that, pole clamps on top. So, so it's whole front end. Whole front end. Ooh. Not just poles. So we don't even need to. We just need the base, the bolts that go through the base bar. Okay. Ah. Uh, because that's how that's how these yeah. mount. It seems a shame to disrupt this beautiful box. Through the slots, or we'll have a direct mount one to make it look super clean. I was gonna say. It should look very nice. Yeah. Right, moment of truth again. <laughs> Is it shifting? Ooh. Oh! Ooh. We have the right noise. Way, look at that. All the buttons work. Happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> Awful lot of bolts. There is nothing awful about a lot of bolts. <laughs> There's not. Look at that stack. Mm. 25 degrees, you aren't kidding, that's... With super long bolts, they only come in 10 mil increments. Yeah. And with just how they're designed to get them all as compact, we need them 5 mil yeah. shorter on the back ones. So we'll, we'll trim those. Yeah, the gem all has been turned on. Oh, you really lean on that. 40 meters. Is it? I just put enough on that. It's not, not going to hurt myself taking it off. So that's an end piece. It always goes on yeah. to make it flat with the clamps. So then you can either have it like that or the way out here. And then fill the space. Here's one you made earlier. Yeah, there's one we made earlier. 
fill the space. We have these little like finishing spacer kit things to fill up the gaps in between. Yeah. And then pop them on. Find a reach that you want. Yeah. And then fill the gaps with your finishing kit. Oh. So then when you clamp it all together, it looks like it's one Simon solid is, pole. Simon exactly. is smart. <laughs> Right, so for the UCI, it's super short, your arm rests to your pole. Well, and then some people, like triathletes, will want to, because some triathletes might want to use these ones. Yeah. They'll want it right on the end, and they'll need a massive amount of finishing kit. So it comes with a full range. You've got 40s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and two, two twos yeah. to basically fit it all the way. Oh. And then you've got some nice tight clamps. It's resembling a bike. It is. Percentage wise? 80. We were 80 a while back. <laughs> well, we're 95. <laughs> 95 is one of those like stats where you, everything's 99 or 95. Yeah. So it's amazing how often that 1 and 5% really Takes, pulls through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once, if you trim them, they'll be long enough. Yeah. But with it like that, I'll, we'll do a shorter one for a moment. But so, some people yeah. might not have long enough cables yeah. to go all the way through, so you need a little extension yeah. thing yeah. to get, get through it all. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. careful. careful. Get Getting into a bit of a biz <laughs> business end. I was, like, whoa, whoa. I was like, what's going on? Let's see how good Brown is at just guesstimating UCI saddle setback. I'm saying he looks pretty much bang on five centimeters. But the spirit level has come out to get reach as well. If it's rough, that's, yeah. that's rough enough. So the saddle set back is seven, let's do seven and a half. That's so, although if it's, depends on what the saddle height is. So yeah, but just the yeah. closer is it going to be lower. But. So seven and a half, and then... What's, what was the, what was the UCI? Eight. Oh, check. So on the full full page, all the way down at the bottom, we yeah. have in loads of little tabs. One of them's UCI. Click on that, yeah. and we've got our own little document that explains oh, which category? each category, and then for each category, what your maximum angle shim could be. Uh. So for a Cat One rider, they can go up to a 20 degree angled shim. Yeah. Cat, Cat One two, being short. Yeah, so under 180. Okay. Cat 2 rider, 180 to 190 virtually. Yeah. So you can have a 25 degree shim. Which is that. Yeah, with the armrest as close to the pole right. as it can get. Yeah. Um, and then the grip chopped as far down as it can get Yeah. will give a UCI position. Cool. So there'll be a, there's some armrests coming out as well which are going to be chopped yeah. to increase your possibilities. Nice. So we're 837. 837. So it's right there. Right, so because I'm in the wind tunnel with this next week, we are going as we're going too high and too long because it is then much easier to reduce height. You can always take off. You can always yeah. take off, but you can never add. So that's gonna be the order of the day for the tunnel where we will go shorter and lower to find a sweet spot. 83% completion? Yeah, we're very close. Oh. Well, very 88. close to the bars. We've got to do pedals. I mean, I can do that. Just, okay. wheels. Just a chain then. Yeah. A chain, yeah. Oh, so we're in, we're in the 90s. We're, we're very close, yeah. We're in the 90s. How's the energy levels? Everyone's hungry, We've got the kettle, so we're high. <laughs> <laughs> right. Armrests, what are you thinking? Got yeah, a narrow one, I reckon, mate. Yeah. Narrow? Yeah. And then there is also yeah. five mil of foam and stuff. Cool. So that feels good. Yeah. Well, that is narrow when you stick a foam. Yeah. Up, isn't it? But it's, it's good for me. Yeah. But it's just good enough for me. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. Right, we've got a wheel with a cassette. Going on a bike. Almost looks like a bike. Almost mm. looks like a bike. Followed soon by a chain. Got a set of handlebars. They're done. Handlebars are done. Yep. 
Once you found what reach you like, yeah. trim off the back, yeah. back of the clamp, yeah. cable goes in, yeah. super clean. Whoa. And then there's some other end caps go in the back as well just to make it a little bit prettier. They literally just yeah. slide in there like that. Gotcha. So once you take the cable out, and you just go in, and then there's a little hole in the end as well for the cable okay. to go through. Very clean, very yeah. nice. Nice and minimal. Lining up disc pads. Yep. It's got a bad case of the hunt wheels. <laughs> yeah, look how close that the cassette is there as well. Not quite 12 speed. Get a slow mo on there. <laughs> oh, the backlight as well, Ready? just beautiful, oh. beautiful. Pack, packet noodles have never looked so good. There you go, watch the steam come out of the nose. <laughs> Delightful. Super smooth. Happy. Very nice. There's a chain. We got to 95%. And then we've had a, we had a bit of a no, no moment. One of the shifters is not shifting. We've isolated it to a cable that runs through the bar. SRAM wireless is looking pretty good right now. Not gonna lie, that's a one point clawback for SRAM. Um, general energy levels in this garage have, uh, have dropped, dropped a little bit. We've got a dud cable. The problem is in here. I mean, not being funny, if you've got a uh, cable already in there, is it easy then to pull another cable through? Well, it's just it's getting to, to that, that junction box out, but yeah, the, yeah, chasing it through would be yeah. too bad. Update-wise, we've, we've moved backwards in percentages. <laughs> we've gone to, look kids, don't ever build a time trial bike yourself, unless they're professional, because it's still really hard, even on what's meant to be an easy bike. This is mainly around the front end. Lots of cables, not much space, which I think is a common trait in a lot of bikes. Yeah, we put a cable in, and when the cable was in, it didn't work. But now that we've taken, if I can understand this rightly, now that we've taken the cable out, it now, works. It now does work. So nothing makes sense anymore. We were all on our merry way about half an hour ago, and now we are watching the clock for sunset. They were on the bike a little while ago. <laughs> right, the ghost problem has, uh, we think, has been resolved. I think. As you can see, there were tri bars on, and now there is not. But all the shifters are working again, so we are putting it back together. And then it should, for the second time today, be the home stretch. <laughs> FML. <laughs> Brown, you have made an eight hour round trip to build a time trial bike. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. You must love bikes. And time trial bikes especially. So the cable comes up through there, goes in this cover, which then slots into the side of that. Oh yeah. And then the cable runs down there, out the back. Neat. So from the front, you don't see any cables, Neat. which is super nice. But it's not super internal that makes it a pain. Yeah, and it's egg. not a pain to build up, which yeah. is good. It's affordable, simple to build, but it looks good. It's almost like you're trying to sell them as well. Exactly. That. 40. No, but how many did you put in? 40. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to the newt. To the newt. <laughs> it's not quite as cinematic as Tom eating his <laughs> noodles. They're cold. <laughs> Alright, let's
hear Shram laughing in the yeah. background. <laughs> if only there was a group set down the factory that made something that was wireless. The buttons need switching, oh, but you can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, super neat. Normally you trim off yeah, to the yeah, back yeah. and yeah. then you can make it super clean. The front is a tiny bit high, but it's the um, it's the lowest I can put it. <laughs> it's not made for the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, you, if you're buying a Chevy, you're not running a 50 <laughs> chain ring. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Comments. Oh, that chain's too long. Yeah. <laughs> How honest can you be on YouTube? Sod so, so off. <laughs> we know the chain's too long. We just we've set it up for a 58. It's eight teeth more than what is currently on. Potentially one yeah. link's still too long as well, but you can always yeah. take it off. <laughs> Brown says so can always take it off. Front end, we're, we're there. Oh, we're putting pads on? Okay, we're putting pads on. It's very awesome. satisfying that build, isn't it? It is good. So, yeah. we have little blanking panels on some rivets that go in there. Yeah. Make it look nice and clean when there's nothing, no Garmin mount. And then for people that have a Garmin or, or a Wahoo mount or whatever, or a hammerhead mount, then you can just mount it in there with a little kit. And this is the bit you did this, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did this bit. So there's there's a range your of different, creation. Range of different mounts. Yeah. So that the, the bracket that comes across to make the Garmin mount in the middle is always like flat, always horizontal. Yeah. It's like much better for airflow. Yeah. So there's one for 15, one for 20, and then one for 25 and 30. So you got 25 degree shims. Yeah. So that mount, and then cool. put that in. There's the spacers. So basically, always mount this in the center. Yeah. Between your bars, just much it makes it look much better than having it off to one side. So oh, yeah. You yeah. work out. What puts it in the middle? Like that. There you go. And then get the bolts on the document. I'm spin the spinner underneath. Spin the bit underneath. For all that power data, I'm going to be looking at whilst I'm yeah. driving. And then you go. Beautiful. Perfect position. Nice and flat. Beautiful. Right, this is it. The bike is coming off the stand. Just there. <laughs> Crazy there because I guess you're going to adjust it for yeah. the while, anyway. At least it's on there. Fair bit of fun. Should do a free hot body sound check. No, because it's rubbish. It's right. It's alright. Right. Not quite Chris King. Not quite Chris King. Look at that, Beasley. The wrong side, the brakes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Done, that's a bike. That is a bike. Makes all the right noises. So I've got to now go away and play with the bars, saddle height. And uh, then we go to the tunnel, play some more. Um, chain ring. And she's good to go. Brown, thank you. Good luck on Best in the business. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. That's why we collectively travelled. Yeah. 10 hour, yeah, it's 12 hour day. Tom, thank you. No worries, thank you very much. And thanks for the garage. No worries. Hey. <laughs> Brilliant, I appreciate that.